This is going to be a very, very short video. If you look at these two terms here, osmo conformers and osmo regulators, if you understand that we're talking about the kidney, you can use these words as kind of predictors of what they actually mean. So osmo sounds like it has to do with osmosis. So you're talking about the movement of water from an area of low solute concentration to high solute concentration. If that statement is confusing for you, go back and review osmosis because the definition of osmosis can be confusing for some because when you think about its relationship with diffusion, the definition sounds a little backwards. But the easy way that I've mentioned before is that water will basically move to saltier areas. So anyways, we have osmo as a prefix here, so we know it's something to do with water. Conformer or regulator is the idea that you are either trying to keep everything the same as the surroundings that are around you, or you're trying to create your own kind of special situation inside, so it involves some kind of homeostasis. So regulator, an osmoregulator, has something to do with maintaining kind of water and solute balances independent of whatever is around outside. So a little bit more homeostasis going on with this situation. And then over here with the osmoconformers, you're kind of matching your internal solute and water concentrations to be the same as the outside. So that's pretty much what it means. So by a nicer definition here, osmoconformer is an organism whose internal solution concentrations will fluctuate with that of the external solute concentration. So they tend to follow whatever is going on outside. So if you plot this on a graph, this is the internal concentration of things like squids and sea squirts. I ate one of these once, disgusting. And then the external solute concentration, so if that increases, then your inside um, actual concentrations will increase as well too. So main disadvantage is you don't have any control of what's really going on. So whatever's around you is gonna be what, what's going on inside you and that may not have the ideal uh, effect on your actual metabolic processes. And here on the other side, we can see here's the outline of a human. Osmoregulators try to keep a constant internal solute concentration, and that's what we do. It's part of it's one of the aspects of homeostasis, and our kidneys help us to be able to do this, to keep our water balance clear. At least that's one of the components of helping to keep our water balance. So even if you're swimming in the salty ocean or um, hanging out at the river or taking a bath with a lot of bath salts, not eating the bath salts, but swimming with the bath salts, no matter what's happening around you, you're still trying to maintain your internal solute concentration as constant, even though the outside is changing a little bit. So the main disadvantage is that it takes energy in order to keep our internal concentrations within these limits. So in the kidney, you've got all kinds of work. We have to pump salts back out, blah, blah, blah. If you have to go through all that process uh, there, and that takes a lot of ATP, and that means we have to eat more, and that means we have to figure out a way to generate that kind of energy. So, are you an osmo conformer, or are you an osmo regulator? Make the right choice.